Hi, I'm Jane Esselstyn. I'm Ann Esselstyn. And today, she's got some things up her sleeve. We are going to have um, my version of, what is it? A couple of different recipes. Okay, <laughs> with some things together. It's uh, peach melba, so to speak. And um, so it starts, of course, with peaches. Or I, I actually, I like nectarines a lot because I, I believe in using the skin of everything. Everything. And so nectarine skins is sometimes nicer than peach. This is a combination of peach and nectarines. And I'm just going to put a few in each bowl. I happen to have just two bowls here. These are my beautiful bowls that our son gave me for Christmas. And I, th the peaches that we had, I knew they were, were ready to go because all the fruit flies were starting to pay attention to them, which means they're getting so sweet. And the next thing is to make, um, uh, with tofu, a mousse, a, la a, a lemon mousse. If you're following along, it is the frosting that we use on our lemon cupcakes with lime frosting. And Instead we use lime, we're losing lemon, so that's on page 255. We like the Maury New Light Silken Tofu. If you don't use silken. And firm. And firm, uh, you, you get something too runny and too gritty. So use light silken tofu. And here it is in here. Jane is giving, putting some zest of a lemon. And then you have to put in about two or three tablespoons of lemon juice. And Jane, do you want to do that? Sure. And then I am going to put in a third cup of maple syrup. And... All right, tell me if you think this is enough lemon. Oh, it doesn't feel, well, it doesn't feel very juicy. You have to tell lemon, Billy. You have to oh tell my gosh. somewhat by this tasting it. This is a stone. It. That's because she should be using my <laughs> lemon... Reamer. Reamer. Oh my gosh, that was like, this was maybe the worst, it had great zest. Okay, you were a great lemon, but it was a lemon of a One lemon. of the things oh. when lemons are is to put them in the microwave a minute. Okay, might that be enough? Let's try. Oh my gosh, this is such a... And then the next thing to do, <sighs> while Jane is doing the lemon, wrestling with it. Where are the raspberries? In the microwave. She, um, we, she starts with frozen raspberries. And they're supposed to be thawed, and we had not thawed them yet, so they were thawing. Was that enough? Yeah, you don't need to thaw them, and this is just a, you really needs even more than you need. And just you want to stick this lid on. Um, here. All right, that's ready to grind. We're so excited to tell you about this cool thing we're doing called Cook with Chibo. It's a new concept in culinary education. And it's a class, actually, a cooking kind of class that you register. In real time. For. Well, you register for it, and when you register for the online streaming of it, you get a grocery list, and then we all meet at a in set time. In a kitchen together. And a set time and a set date, and we cook together, and you can raise your hand virtually and say, ask a question, and we'll answer, or we can ask a question, and maybe you can answer. So we would absolutely love to see you in your kitchen. Cook with Chibo, and with us. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Okay, well, let's grind up this one now. This is my favorite dessert to serve with lime instead of lemon. And then I layer lots of raspberries, fresh raspberries, bottom, middle, top, with a, with a sprig of mint on the very top. It's a beautiful summer, any time of year dessert. Did you hear that? And this, just plain frozen raspberries, makes a fabulous sauce on pancakes, just on what, at any time you might on need. Toast, on anything. Anything. Jane, can you open that? Yeah. And then I like to put a tablespoon of, a, and this happens to be from that box of Jane's, a raspberry white vinegar that, I don't have a tablespoon, but that's about it. Of course, the acid queen is adding some vinegar.
So, now, ready? We have our peaches. We have our, and it's always key to, Jane, I stop it and, did you do the sides? I did, I did. Okay, and it's done. So let's hope this is lemony enough. Oh, I know. should we taste it first? Make sure it's, it's... Should I get more lemon? Mmm. Mm. Ah! Delicious. Hooray. Ah. I'm trying to do this backwards. Okay. And then you just put this on top. Should I slice the mint? No, 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 no. No, go, go, go. No, this, and then I need another spoon. Some raspberry sauce. This isn't quite, well, it didn't quite thaw enough, but a little raspberry <laughs> sauce. That's gorgeous. And then on top of that, I love to get mint. So you get the very little top piece of mint. A little crown? A little crown. And put that like that. Well, anyway, this is a, this is a really nice dessert that oh. is just so good. And people love it. Well, you know what I want to say is that the... And this uh, raspberry the sauce gets more saucy as soon as, as it isn't from the frozen... Okay, saucy lassie. The, the raspberry sauce can be found in our cookbook on page 252. Um, it is the sauce that goes on the chocolate parfait, but here it is on the peach nubba. <clears throat> okay. Look at that. Look at that, look at that, look at that. All right, cheers. Ah. We should have made one for Wade. Wait, I have, this right, is well, for Wade. To, well, well, let's taste it. We have to taste it. We have to taste it. I know what it tastes like. Tastes good. Oh, it's like summer. Oh my gosh. And my. you know, I hate the end of peaches because that's the end of summer. Oh, oh I know. But this, mm. you can take the peaches that are kind of not hanging in there and use them in this recipe. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, hey, cheers. Hope you guys. Life full of wonderful peach melba. <laughs> and good health. Bye bye.